Hi guys, Georgie here, back for another fun workshop. Today we're going to be doing an intermediate level jumping jacks beam workshop. Okay, so you may have seen the beam workshop that we did for beginner jumping jacks. Well, this is moving another level on for our intermediate level. So anybody who's enrolled in our programs, that would be um, moving into a silver um, or a gold certificate um, or skill set um, that we're working on today. We're going to have lots of fun. Um, just remember, as always, make sure you move all of your furniture away, that you've got a bit of space, that um, an adult is watching you and that you're not doing anything that, that is beyond your current skill set, okay? So it's fine to be able to work towards skills, but not to do things that are just a little bit ahead of where we're at. Okay, so if you haven't got a balance beam at home, don't worry. Um, you can mark a beam out on the floor with some tape, or you could roll up some towels and pop them along the floor so that they make a bit of a balance beam. Okay, so we'll get started. In our beginner beam workshop, um, we learned how to climb onto the beam safely. This time, while we're still going to get onto the beam safely, we're going to learn how to get onto the beam in a different way. Now this is called a mount, okay? So in this session, we're going to learn how to do a straight jump onto the beam, a tuck jump onto the beam, and a leap onto the beam. So let's get started. So I'm going to move the beam down so that you can see, okay? I'm gonna stand a little bit behind the beam and we're just going to do a straight jump and we're gonna see if we can land on our beam. So put our arms up, we're gonna swing them down and just jump up onto the beam. Oh, my foot slipped off the side. Okay, so we want to see, might want to have one foot slightly in front of the other so that they can fit on. Okay, so arms up, swing them down and yeah, and that was a lot better. Okay, so we're gonna do that three more times guys. Ready, arms up, swing them down, and then straight jump. Oh, I keep turning sideways a little bit, two more. Try and land with your feet nice and flat, not on your tiptoes, because that's when you'll start to topple forward. Arms up, and straight jump. That was a nice one. We've got one more. Okay, arms up, and nice. So that was our straight jump mount. Now we're going to see if we can turn that straight jump into a tuck jump, okay? So let's just practice our tuck jump on the floor. And we're gonna do that to get up onto the balance beam, okay? Arms up and my knees came up not as high maybe as they should have done. How did you guys go? Did you get your knees up? Good try, okay, let's try that again. And this, good work. And I landed nice and on my beam. If you didn't, and if you fell off, that's okay. You can just keep practicing. One more. And, oh, my heels dropped off the side. That time we're gonna try one, another one because we don't want to end on a bad one, okay? So one more chance to get it really nice and right. And, tuck jump. Good work. Okay, so this time we're going to do a step leap, okay? So we're going to do, we're gonna step from one foot on the balance beam like this and hold the other foot up in the air okay I'm going to turn it a little bit sideways so that you can see okay so first of all we're just going to stand one foot in front and step and do that okay let's do that again step and do that and then what we're going to do is add a whole thing okay can you do that and again one foot in front Add a hop and make sure you hold it still. Got three more to do. Step in front, hop, hold. Good, one, and another one. Two. Three. Good work, how did you go? Did you manage to stay on? Okay, so those are our beam mounts. Let's move on to some skills. All right, so the first couple of skills that we're going to do is we're going to do some tiptoe walking. We're going to turn around on our toes, staying on our toes for our tip tops, tip toes, and then we're going to keep walking to the end of the beam. After that, we're going to do some kicks, okay? Some forward kicks and some backward kicks. So we're going to, we might practice our mount that we just did. So we'll practice our straight jump mount. Jump on. Okay, now we're going to go up onto tip toes, walk to the middle of the beam, and then staying on our tip toes, we're going to turn all the way around and then 
to the end and then let's do our landing jumps one banana two banana three banana good work okay we're going to do that again um this time we're going to do our tuck jump mount so arms up tuck jump tippy toes light shade tip toes that's it turning all the way around on our tip toes when we get to the middle and let's go to the end and let's do our landing jump good work okay for this one we're going to do our leap onto the beam then we're going to go tip toes to the middle a half turn and then walk backwards to the end so i'm going to start with my foot up leap hold tip toes walk turn just to backwards and then staying on our tip toes walking whoa all the way backwards to the end feel for the end of the beam turn back around and then good job okay this time we're going to do some step kicks we're going to do two really nice step kicks okay so we're going to start on the beam arms out and we're just going to go step kick step kick feet together to finish okay let's go back to the start we're going to do our straight jump mount jump on and then step kick step kick let's do that again straight jump mount step kick step kick okay one more time arms up straight jump mount Good work. Okay, this time we're going to do our behind kicks, okay? And our behind kicks, like this, when we're on the balance beam, okay? So we're going to do our tuck jump mount and two behind kicks. So let's go and get ready for our tuck jump. Arms out and kick behind behind feet together good work we're going to do that two more times to make sure that when you're walking that you're doing your behind kicks that your legs are nice and straight okay ready arms up swing touch jump arms out and step behind kick step behind kick feet together okay good job one more time Make it a really good one this time. Ready? And tuck jump. Arms out to the side. Step, kick. Step, kick. Feet together and finish. Good work. So we've just done some tippy toe walking. We've done some step kicks both forwards and behind. What's next? For the next thing in our intermediate beam workshop, we're going to be looking at a jump connection. That means two jumps joined together. And in this um, workshop, we're looking at two straight jumps joined together, boys and girls. Um, we're also going to be holding an arabesque, which is a balance. Okay, and then we're going to try our bunny hops just a little bit bigger than we've done them before. Okay, so let's start with our jump. So what I'll show you first on the floor, a jump connection looks like this. So we go straight jump, straight jump. We want to make sure they're joined up. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll do that slowly on the balance beam and then we'll try and make it a bit quicker. Okay, so standing on our beams. I'm just going to make sure I'm not under my light shades. Okay, and we're just going to see if we can do I'm going to pull one foot slightly in front of the other. If your feet are little enough to stay together, that's okay. All right, and we're just going to do one straight jump and then another one. And that's two straight jumps, okay? But we're going to have to get a little bit quicker. So let's go one straight jump and another straight jump. You see I'm swinging my arms in between. Okay, we're going to try that again. So we're going to go straight jump, swing, straight jump. Okay, I'm going to do two more of those and then we're going to see if we can join them together without the arm swing. Okay, so swing down, straight jump, straight jump. Oh, it nearly fell off. Okay, one more of those straight jump 
straight jump. Good. This time, we're going to keep our arms up in the air and not do any swing, okay? We're going to go straight jump, straight jump. How did you go? Did you manage to do it? I reckon some of you probably did. Okay, let's try it again. We're going to do it two more times. Arms up. We've got straight jump, straight jump. Try not to wobble. Try and stay on. Make sure if you look forward or at the end of your balance beam, that's how you're going to stay on. So if I was to move back here a little bit, I can look at the end of my balance beam and go straight jump, straight jump. Ooh, that wasn't my best effort. Let's try it one more time. Ready? Straight jump, straight jump. Good job. That's one that you can keep practicing because it's a little tricky. Okay, we're going to do an arabesque next. Okay, an arabesque is a balance. It's balance on one foot, put our arms out to the side, we keep our chests up nice and high, and then we lift our back leg. Okay, as high as we can without tipping forwards, but we want both legs nice and straight. Okay, I'll see if I can do it on the other leg for you guys so that you can see. Okay, so. Put one foot in front, turn it out a little bit, put your arms out to the side, keep your chest up nice and high, and then lift your back leg, and hold. One, two, three, and then come back, okay? We're gonna try that two more times. Ready? So put your foot in front, turn it out a little bit, put your arms out to the side, stand up nice and tall, and lift. One banana, two banana, three banana and back in. Okay, we've got one more of those. So let's point our toe, stand down, arms out, chest up nice and tall, and one banana, two banana, three banana, and then back in. Good job, okay. So we're now going to do a bunny hop tuck hold, or a bunny hop a little bit bigger than what we normally do, okay. I'm just gonna move that that way a little bit. We're gonna practice this on the floor, okay. so. Bunny hop in our beginner workshop look just like that, okay? On the balance beam, it was quick, and we wanted to get back up to our feet as soon as possible. For this one, we want to see if we can be up for a little bit longer. So practice your bunny hops on the floor first. And again, see if we can stay up a bit longer. Good work, okay. And we are going to see if we can do them on the balance beam. Okay, so standing up, putting our hands down and kick our bottoms. Oh, mine was a bit higher than the beginner workshop, but it didn't stay up there very long. Let's try again. Hands down. That was a better one. Let's go again. Oh, that was quite good. And we've got two more boys and girls, and then you can practice them as much as you like on your own, okay? One more. Good job, lots of practice there needed I think there. Okay, we're gonna move on now to something else. All right guys, so now we're going to do two more things. We're gonna do a half turn on our toes, okay, which is a half turn releve hold it's called. And we're also gonna practice our croc snap handstand. And um, if you're not quite ready to do your croc snap, you can still do your L handstand, but we're gonna try our croc snaps, okay? So for our first thing, okay, we are going to stand with one foot in front of the other, hands by our sides, and we're gonna go up onto tiptoes like this, okay? Try and keep your ankles in next to each other, so squeeze your legs together at the top here, okay? And then we're gonna go down. We're gonna do that again, go up, hold, and then down. Now this time, when we go up, we are going to turn the direction of the foot that is behind, okay? So we're gonna, can you see which way my body wants to turn? If I try and go this way, my legs are going to get crossed and get confused. So I'm going to lift up onto my toes. I'm going to turn. Oops, and I fell off. This is not the best beam, the best surface for turning on, okay? So up onto my toes and then turn. And hold, 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 hold. Oops, I'm supposed to say stood up, okay? So let's try that again. Oh, I'm wobbling all over. One foot in front of the other, lift up and turn. Still a bit wobbly. Okay, we're gonna do that two more times. One foot in front of the other, lift up, and turn. It's a bit tricky, boys and girls, okay? We have to get our heads around nice and quick and we have to squeeze our tummy muscles so that we stay nice and strong in position, okay? So 
Then go up on our toes and see if we can turn the face the other way. Yeah, and that was a good one for me to finish off on. I hope you did some good ones too. Okay, we're gonna try our croc snap handstand. So let's try one of those on the floor first, okay? So we did our, in our last workshop, we did our L handstand. Okay, but this time we're gonna see if we can snap our feet and then come back down onto the beam. So have a practice now of your croc snap handstand before we put it on the balance beam, boys and girls. Okay, so when you've done, if you do that a couple of times, I'm gonna set my beam up ready to go again. I'm just gonna make sure I've got plenty of room for this one, okay? And I'm gonna stand on my beam, my hands up, and I'm gonna do, I might just do a little one to start with to get used to it. So I'll do an L handstand. Oh dear, and I came off the side. That's not cool, is it? I might try that again. Okay, that was my L handstand. Now I'm gonna try a crop snap handstand, see if I can snap my feet together. Oh, and I wobbled off. But that's okay, because I've got my feet together at the top. As long as you're still improving, that's all right. Oh, I bent my leg that time. Okay, let's try again. I'm not being very successful at this. How are you guys going? Are you managing to snap your feet together and land back on the balance beam? If you're not, it doesn't matter. We've got to keep practicing. We're going to try it three more times, boys and girls, before we move on to something else. Okay, ready? Let's go. Oh, I landed there, but my foot should have been behind. Let's have a little go. Now, don't get too hard. We don't want to go over. Okay. I cheated. Bent my leg. I managed to stay on the beam. Now, we've got one more. Let's make it a really good one, guys. And I finished with my foot in front. That's tricky. That needs us to practice an awful lot more, I think, doesn't it? So... If you can set your balance beam up on nice weather days or inside the house, if you've got the room, you can practice that a little bit more. We're gonna move on to something else now, okay? We're going to do a forward roll, but because we're at the intermediate level, um, or our silver and gold level, we're just going to use, or I'm going to use a mat today over the top, just to, just because we're, some of us are still really learning our forward rolls and making sure that we've got our heads tucked in. So we want to make sure that it's a little bit softer on our backs and our necks, okay? so. If you've got a rug or a blanket or a duvet that you could put over the balance beam um, just to help make sure that it doesn't hurt your neck and your back, then that would be really good, okay? And if you want to, we, we might just practice our forward roll on the floor to start with. So I'm going to have my feet together for this one, put my hands down, tuck my head right underneath and roll, okay? So you can do that a couple of times on the ground if you want to before we go on to the balance beam. Okay, so I'm standing on my balance beam. Okay, I'm gonna, I've got my feet together. I'm gonna bob down like this. I'm gonna put my hands on the mat and I'm gonna tuck my head underneath. I'm gonna go that way. Tuck my head under and oh, oh! And I went a little bit sideways, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna try that again. Pull this back a bit. Standing on the beam, bending down, put our hands down. Ready? Are we going to go nice and straight? Make sure we tuck our heads right under. Oh, and I went off the other side that time. That's okay, we're going to try it again. And do you know what, boys and girls? It's not about staying on the balance beam, this one. It's about making sure you have a really good go at it. It's a very hard thing to do a forward roll on a balance beam. So this is where we build up our confidence and we make sure that we feel comfortable and safe doing it. So that's what this is about. It's about having a go and making sure you go over. I'm going to do it a couple more times. So feet together, hands down, on the balance beam, ready to tuck that head right under. Up, oh, and I got one foot on that time. Yay! How did you guys go? Have you managed to get any feet on yet? I bet you get to do it slower than me, don't you? Two more to do, okay? Oh, my balance is not straight. Okay, bobbing down, hands next to the mat, ready, and go. Oh, and I got one foot on again. We've got one more to do. Let's see if we can make it a really good one. Bobbing down, oh, I'm a bit close. Ready, and roll. 
Oh, it wasn't a really good one. It went completely off to the side, but that's okay. How did you guys go? That's one to keep practicing. Um, and if you're a little bit scared to start with, that's okay. Just take it. Why don't you take it onto the floor, onto a line and practice it on there and then take it up to the balance beam and that'll help you overcome your fears. All right, for the next part of the workshop, guys, we're on to dismount. So this is how we get off the beam once we've done all our skills on the beam, okay? Okay, guys, so we're coming up to the end of our workshop. We're going to now learn to get off the beam. We're going to do something called a dismount, okay? So what we're going to do is we've done our safe landing jump that we did in our beginner one. We're going to see if we can do a half turn jump. I'm just going to move that back a bit, otherwise I'm going to hit my latch in. Okay, so we're going to stand on the end of the beam and we're going to do a little jump forwards, but a turn around as well. Okay, and then our landing check. Okay, we're going to try that five times. Just be make sure that there's nothing around you that you could, if you fall over you could hit. Okay, so feet together. We're almost at the end of our beam. Ready? One, two, three. <coughs> Good work. Okay, let's go again. Feet together and jump. Good. Let's go one more. Feet together and jump. Good work, how did you go? I reckon you all landed it really good. Okay, this time we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. We're gonna see if we can go all the way around and do a jump full turn. So we're just gonna practice our jump full turns on the floor, okay? So standing this way, I'm gonna stand here. We're gonna see if we can jump all the way around. Okay, and if you're a bit wobbly, just keep practicing it on the floor before you put it on the balance beam or off the balance beam, okay? So feet together, we're standing on the end. Ready, one, two, three. Woo! And a little bit of a wobble. Good work. Let's try that three more times. Feet together. And let's go. Whoa, and I nearly fell backwards. That's because it's hard to travel forwards and turn at the same time. Okay, let's try it again. We've got two more to do. Feet on right on the end of the balance beam. And, whoo, and I nearly got my feet caught. And I still wobbled. My first one was the best. How about you guys? Let's try again. Last one of these. Up oh, and a top of fours. It's a bit tricky that one. Okay, it needs a little bit more practice on my part, but I wonder how you guys did. Did you do really good? Okay, well we're going to go on to our cartwheel dismount now, boys and girls. Okay, before we finish off. Okay, boys and girls. In our beginner workshop, we did a beginner cartwheel off the end of the beam or a side bunny hop, whichever. Um, was the level that we're at. We're going to see, um, most of you have probably got your cartwheels looking pretty good now, intermediate level. So we're going to see if we can take our cartwheels a bit bigger. What we might want to do is we might want to just quickly practice our cartwheel on the floor, just to make sure that we're nice and warm and we remember which way we're going and where our hands are going, okay? We're going to do that one more time. It because we didn't do a massive warm up before this class, we need to make sure that all of our muscles are nice and warm. Okay, so if you need to do a few more of those so that your leg muscles and your body feels a little bit warmer, then go for it. All right, um, otherwise, we're going to stand on our balance beam, okay, and we're going to stand a little bit back because we need room for our hands to go down, okay, and then we're going to kick our legs all the way over the top or as high as we can. Ready, I'm just conscious of my table. It's actually quite easy to do a cartwheel off the balance beam and it feels quite nice. It feels like we're doing something pretty cool and pretty big. We're gonna do it five more times, boys and girls. And each time I want you to see if you can kick your legs over the top in a really straight line every time, all right? Getting ready and a big kick. Good work. How did you go? I'm going to touch my, touch my teeth in. We've got three left. Remember, don't stand too close to the end of the beam because you can't reach into your cartwheel very well. And when we finish our cartwheel, we're supposed to finish facing back facing the beam, okay? I turn around so that I can speak to you, but we really need to finish facing the balance beam. All right, we've got two left. How did 
you go. Are they looking good? Are your cartwheels improving? Are you getting them nice and high? And are you landing on your feet and not falling over? We have to push off the beam so that we can stand up at the end really good and that will stop us falling over if we are falling over a little bit. We've got one more. Let's make it a really good one. Excellent work, boys and girls. Okay, I think you've probably done super, super well. We've done an awful lot of work for our Balance Beam Workshop today for our intermediate level. Um, there are lots of things that you can revisit there and practice over and over again so that you can master them all. And then you might get ready for the advanced level in the future. Hope you had lots of fun. Remember, boys and girls, always have an adult in the room watching you what that you do, watching what you do. Move all of your furniture out of the way. Don't do anything that you're not ready to do. Make sure you warm up and stay safe. Till next time, boys and girls, I'll see you later. Bye.